we have a phone bank here of people taking calls and making calls, uh, asking people to help on this day, saying we need your help to really be able to deliver these services day in and day out. We are, Bridget, we're so thankful that you're calling. Uh, why, why do you support the Red Cross? I support the Red Cross because you guys do a lot of great things and you help out a lot of people and there's no reason not to support the Red Cross. There is no reason not to support your American Red Cross. So thank you very much. What's, what's great about the hashtag here, and I just want to tell you this, that uh, Craig is making a donation. Craig from Craigslist uh, today for the American Red Cross is donating $1 for every time the hashtag is used, help one family, up to $25,000. Well, I was with the Red Cross for 15 years overseas, working in a number of countries, responding to disasters, and now I'm the community volunteer leader for Montgomery County chapter. Um, I'm Amy, and I work at the American Red Cross National Headquarters. I work on the Home Fire Campaign, which is a home run. We are reducing deaths and injuries caused by home fires by 25% by the end of 2019. So we're going we're gonna to show you now how easy it is and how important it is to install a smoke alarm. They are some of the cheapest life insurance you could get. Uh, you know, these things, you really only have two minutes to get out of a house. Look at that. Major uh, Caitlin Van Dam. It's really phenomenal that it, it's such a well-organized institution that it can reach into combat zones so that we as leaders are able to take care of those that we lead and by taking care of their families and letting them know when significant events in life do happen. Major Van Dam, attack helicopter pilot. Look at this. I, folks, I'm telling you, this is not easy right here. Oh, man. Well, our therapists at Walter Reed uh, depend on the Red Cross each and every day for these Lego kits that they use for patients recovering from both physical and mental injuries. Uh, when we started this, the American Red Cross across the country has raised over $750,000 uh, in one day so far. I have the most amazing job at the American Red Cross. I am the director of women philanthropy, so I help women realize their philanthropic dreams. One of the major components of what the Red Cross does is provide that calm and comfort. Donna Flory uh, donating $2,000. I mean, this generosity is what powers the American Red Cross. IKEA has been providing great support across the country for us uh, here in the National Capital Region. Pillow. That's a pillow. <laughs> and then rolled up in here are towels. So a bath towel. Uh huh. And then we have hand towels. Mm hmm. And a sheet set. Okay, I'm the district manager for the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area uh, for blood services for the American Red Cross. Roughly, how many blood drives do we hold every day? Roughly. I would say weekly we do about 35. Sadie works at Fort Belvoir Community Hospital. She, we walk around and visit the uh, clinics, the wards, the open areas. Cindy and I visit at Walter Reed as well with Pat and Rika. We also visit a couple other facilities here in Fairfax County, Virginia. And um, we visit children, we visit the elderly and infirmed, and obviously we visit people like you. We do a lot of uh, emergency communications, which I think is probably what most military people uh, know best for the Red Cross. That's right. Because when they're deployed, this is our way to keep them in touch with their families here, no matter where they are in the world. I am Paul Carden. I am the Regional Disaster Officer. It means I work with a group of staff and more importantly volunteers who respond to disasters throughout the National Capital Region. In a given year, we unfortunately go to 500 plus incidents. Well, we have GO teams. They're the first eyes and ears of the EMS system. We have two, three volunteers, two or three volunteers on a team walking in the crowd on the mall on the 4th of July looking for bad things. Someone has lost a child, someone is having a heart attack. So our volunteers are trained to walk up to assess the situation, to get on the radio, to call for help. A, uh, about a week ago, the Red Cross was able to come out to one of our facilities and help provide support to us by uh, featuring a CPR class. Also the home fire safety campaign. But we respond to a call, a caseworker gives us an address, we go to the address and uh, start responding by finding out what their needs are, mm -hmm. what the fire department tells us, what they're, they're looking at, and uh, trying to decide if, if their home is livable or not livable, and uh, to meet those needs. 
But I'd love for Yolanda to tell you a little bit about what the Tiffany Circle is and why you're a member, Yolanda. Well, it's a, it's a worldwide group of philanthropic women leaders who do what they can to support the mission of the Red Cross through their time, through their finances, through their resources sometimes that they can loan from maybe companies they're associated with or they own. Noe and I are both uh, members of the International Response Operations Center, a team within the American Red Cross that responds and supports responses to uh, global this is a very small aperture terminal. It's called a VSAT. It's what we use to provide internet and voice connectivity pretty much anywhere in the world. This one sat out in uh, northern Nepal, out in the, in the rain, through several aftershocks for over four months. Plant a little garden, eat a lot of peaches, try to find Jesus on your own. 